Welcome to Sitting in the Floor with me. I'm Josh. I'm sitting in the floor, and you're with me. I don't like sitting in the floor. It's not comfortable. This lighting is terrible. So, welcome to another video. I know it's been kind of a, a little bit since I've done one. Ow, something's stabbing me in the back. Ignore the big white sheet. There's not a bicycle under there. So if you have watched the vlog for any amount of time, you would know that we love hiking. Uh, there has been several videos where we have gone hiking. There's, I mean, all of these. It's family hiking day! Get up to the Clemens Dome parking area. Only problem is big storm coming. There it be. I'm a pirate, apparently. And recently I've been getting more and more into bike Sickling, bike sickling, bi bicycle, riding a bicycle. Sorry, little spiders, didn't mean to kill your web. Recently, I've been getting more into bicycling, uh, and then that led into a motorcycle going down the road. That led into me getting into bike packing. We went on an epic three day bike packing journey. Fortunately, I lost all the footage, and that's led me to want to go backpacking. It's like bike packing, but without the bike. You don't say. Next Monday, today is Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, that's the weekend. You don't say! We're going, uh, no, that's not right either. How'd your mama? So when I went bike packing, I hauled about 37, I think, with water and everything, pounds. This is my backpacking setup. <laughs> right, I just weighed it, it's about 25 pounds. Which is not terrible. I don't know why it's so full though. I wanted to show you everything that I've got in my pack. I've still got to get a first aid kit. I think that's it. And they really, this is to make fun of me. I, I am overpacked. I know I am. I'm, a couple years from now, I might watch this when I'm more experienced in bikepacking and be like, oh my lord, why did I pack all that? So, quickly, here we go. Top pocket. A poncho for when it rains. Also have a poncho for my backpack. My toiletry kit. Pooping in the woods. And then all my lights are up in here. I've got one, two. This is for reading a book. And my multi-tool. I feel like you should always have your multi-tool handy. Hello. Hello. Now the bag that I've got is a Norface Terra 65. I ordered a large frame because I thought it had to do with how tall you are or how fat you are, but it actually has to do with your torso weight or measurement. And I didn't do that. So I probably could have fit in a medium sized bag. I don't know. But the good thing about REI, you hike it, you hate it, you take it back. All right, so first we have quick access stuff. I've got my journals, uh, a map, compass, snake bike kit. The first aid kit will go in here whenever I make that. Fire, windproof and waterproof matches to start a fire. This is my entire kitchen. This is a pillow. <laughs> I like my sleep and I'm gonna want a pillow. A coat a puffer coat, my sleeping pad, and all my food. I guess this would be part of the kitchen. This is actually in a bare canister. This is where everything that, uh, how did I open the camera, how I did this? Everything that has a scent, pretty much, will go in this. And the good thing about this is it doubles as a puzzle to work on and try to open while you're hungry. It, it doubles as a stool. So like, I mean, it's made to handle a grizzly bear. I think it can handle my fat butt. I also have my trowel. This is for digging a hole in the woods to poop in. Oh look, it's got a neat little measuring on here so you can measure how long your turd is. Cool. I'm taking a hammock just because I want a hammock. Down here in the very bottom, extra pocket, my sleeping bag. All I have in here. It felt like there was so much more in there, but there's not. So I know I need a first aid kit, a, what else? I gotta get a nalging bottle and a bladder in there. And I think I'm ready to go besides that. What am I missing? What do you take with you? Someone educate me because I am literally just like watching YouTube videos and guessing and we're gonna do three days. Three days and two nights. And one night we can't even have a fire. And it's gonna be cold. I can't wait. Now I gotta figure out if I can get all this back in the bag.
kind of walk around with it. I'm kind of to the end of the street and back. It feels pretty good. I don't think it's too low or too high. Definitely accents my belly. I feel like this is a great bag for the beginning. I mean this is I have wanted to do backpacking for years and never done it. I don't feel the weight on my shoulders. I feel it on my back which is or my hips which is what you want. I feel like I could walk in this three, four miles. One thing I forgot to mention is I got this bear horn. It, it won't do a thing to deter a bear, deter a bear but it, it warns them when you're in their area. I want to see how loud it is. Oh my God, it's loud. 